Hi guys, welcome back to Win the Second Ball. This is my third YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you my WWE DVD collection. Again, I've not got loads. I used to have every single one nearly. I used to collect nearly every one. I had every pay-per-view from 2004 to 2011. Um, and then I just, saw, uh, I just started to stop getting them because the network came out. I decided to sell so many but these are the ones that I've got left these are the ones that I really like and still actually watch today when I'm bored so this is my small DVD collection and I hope you enjoy and um, before I get started it'd be brilliant if you could press that subscribe button down below and like the video and without further ado here is my WWE DVD and Blu-ray collection and I do have a video of all my old DVDs um, in my collection which I did like 10 years ago I'm thinking I might just put that up on YouTube as well, just to show you what I used to have. We'll see, I don't know yet. Um, but here we go. So, I've got the Best of Raw um, 15th Anniversary from 93 to 2008. And I've got the Best of Smackdown 10th Anniversary 99 to 2009. Got the Rock, the Epic Journey, and that's like a documentary DVD. We've got a really good DVD, which is the Ric Flair. And probably one of my favourite DVDs is the Shawn Michaels. This is a great DVD. If you've never got this, if you've never seen this, Shawn Michaels is a really good story of his career. Um, I can't remember how far it goes up to. It's been a while since I've watched it. I think it's... WrestleMania 24? I can't remember I'm talking about 25, but it's a really good DVD. It's really, um, it talks about so much in it. Uh, next is the Rise and Fall of WCW. And the last box set is the new and improved DX, which is like their run from 2006. Just like all the matches and promos that they did on Raw. We've got the original D, D, D Generation X DVD which actually contains um, the actual swear words of what <laughs> what get bleeped out on, other, on the VHS, I believe. Um, and on other DVDs I think you can get. This one is just uncensored, nothing. You hear Triple H and Shawn Michaels swear their heads off. Um, which is really, it's unbelievable. I can't believe WWE actually did a DVD like that. Uh, Triple H, The Game. This is a really good DVD as well. Triple H. Triple H. The King of Kings. There's only one. This is like a match. All matches. Um, so many matches on you. There's a lot of matches. Match after match. And then Triple H does a little interview. Like. Um, at the end of each match. This is Triple H That Damn Good. This is actually from America. They never released this in the UK. Um, they, they did with on the Tad Classics with another DVD, but I wanted just the Triple H DVD. So this is American. Um, so I actually can't watch it over here anymore. But that's a really cool back. I really like that. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, this is from America. Uh, the Monday Night War. I actually watched this the other day and it's so old watching it now. It's it's still a good DVD, but because we know everything about the Monday Night War now, it's on the network and get DVDs on it. It's everywhere. It, watching this, I watched this a month or so ago. It's so old now looking at it back now. I think it's from like 2002 when they did this, when they made it. It's... It is really old. Um, so then the documentaries. These are my pay-per-views. This is Armageddon 2003. Where Evolution won every single championship. I was a big, big Evolution fan back in the day. So Triple H wins the world title against Kane and Goldberg. Um, Batista and Ric Flair won the tag team title. And Randy Orton won the Intercontinental Championship against... RVD when Evolution won every single championship. How awesome. 
Next, we've got the New Year's Revolution when Triple H won the world title for the 10th time inside the Elimination Chamber. And then I've got a few Blu-rays. So we've got the true story of WrestleMania. Uh, the history of the WWE 50 years. The greatest superstars of the 21st century. The Crick Rules. Which the documentary on this is like on for one hour and then that's it and then the rest is just a load of matches. Um, the One Last Stand DX Blu-ray from their run in 2009. Triple H's Fight Kingdom Come. Uh, NXT's Greatest Matches Volume 1 when NXT used to be really good. There's some really good matches on this. And we got the Royal Rumble 2013 when The Rock returns and wins the WWE Championship. This is awesome. And see, and I've also got a few more here that don't really fit on the shelf. Um, I've got the TLC from 2013 when Randy Orton wins, it unifies both the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship. Still sealed. Um, no one ever talks about this. No one. It's not really even a big thing, but. You know, I thought I'd buy it and just keep it sealed because I thought it was a massive thing when Van Newton unified the world title. Like, that was it for the world championship. Um, but no one seems to really care. Hell in Cell 2012. I got um, Extreme Rules 2014 and Payback 2014. This is because Evolution returned for a couple of months and they went up against the Shield on both these events. Really good matches, um, so I got them too for Evolution returning. I've got this, I don't know if this is rare or not, I have no idea. Vengeance 2006, but this is like a, comes with an extra DVD with loads of extras on. Um, and it's just a normal Vengeance pay-per-view. And it's in a hard slip copy as well, as you can see. Um, but I don't know why it was like this for, but... It's really rare to see a, just a normal B-show pay-per-view get such a extra DVD and a hot slip copy. I don't know why it did. Next I've got is the WWE Live in the UK from November 2010. And this is the only Raw Smackdown I've ever been to. So it was 10 years ago now. Raw, NXT, Superstars and Smackdown. It's so cool that... In the UK, they brought these out so you could re-watch when you've been to one. Um, so yeah, there it is. The only Raw and Smackdown I've ever been to. Uh, Kurt Angle champion. Big Kurt Angle fan. This is, these are his matches from his first year or so in TNA. The matches against Simone Joe and King of the Mountain match and stuff like that. When he wins the TNA title. It's a good DVD. The Great American Bash 2004 is... Ooh. <laughs> is with the Insurrection 2003 from my hometown, so that's what I'll keep that. And WWE Confidential Volume 1. Um, contains exclusive footage not seen on UK TV. I have no idea what that is, I've not watched this probably in over 10 years. So, there you go. So, next is my steel book limited edition DVDs that I've got down here. So I've got the Survivor Series 2009 Steelbook. That's an awesome cover of uh, Shawn Michaels and Triple H DX. Got SummerSlam 2010 Steelbook. SummerSlam 2009 Steelbook. Uh, SummerSlam 2008 Steelbook. SummerSlam 2007 Steelbook and this is SummerSlam 2006 uh, not a Steelbook but comes with a slip cover um, so I just kept it and it's got like a um, a poster in it and I think it's got a postcard in it as well not can't remember it's definitely got a poster in it so they, they just go down there 
And next to them is my WrestleMania anthologies. So we've got uh, this is WrestleMania Volume Three, ninety six to two thousand and one. We've got the anthology Volume Two, which is nineteen ninety to ninety five. And we've got Volume 1, 1985 to 1989. So carrying on from my WrestleMania anthologies, I've got, that goes from, the three anthologies I've got is from 1 to 17, WrestleMania. So this is WrestleMania 18. So I just, I didn't get Volume 4 for the anthology because I've already got WrestleMania 18 here. Uh, WrestleMania 19. WrestleMania 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, which is the big box set, comes with a book, 26, and then I moved on to try and collect Blu rays. Um, so I got WrestleMania 27 on Blu ray, 28. 29, 30, 31, which is still sealed. And then I sort of moved back to the DVD box sets, which is WrestleMania 32, which is still sealed. 33, which is sealed. And the last one I've got is 34, which is sealed. Um, I just, I sort of just buy the WrestleManias now when they just, like, go cheap. So I got this one for £5 in the UK from HMV, this one was from eBay, cost under £5, was £4 something, free delivery, still sealed. So I'm just going to wait until like the last two WrestleManias that have been out go for a bit cheaper. So you can get WrestleMania 35 for like, um, like £9, but I'm just going to wait until it goes to 5 or £6 later. Like, Getting really, really cheap because I, I like to just collect all WrestleManias, keep them sealed and everything now. Um, so I've just been doing that, but there's all the rest. I've got every one apart from the last two. Alright, guys, thank you for watching all my WWE DVD collection. And then thanks for watching, and this has been Win the Second Ball. See you later. Make sure you subscribe.